Welcome to Roka Do It. Thank you so much for subscribing my channel. If you have not, this is the right time to subscribe my channel. Well, guys, Roka Do It is back. I know I was a bit busy in last month as I was preparing for both professional and specialist exam, which now I have cleared. So I thought, why not to share this good news with you all, guys? So I have finally cleared all Oracle free exam and these are my Oracle badges that I have received. So you can see I have cleared database specialist, I have also cleared professional and I also cleared all associate exams which Oracle provided free of cost. So guys I showed you all my badges from a website acclaim.com. If you don't know about website I have mentioned a link in the description. You can go to the link and understand about acclaim.com and through the acclaim.com you can download your all badges. You can also share your certificate, your badge through acclaim.com. So now I'm going to share you all the certificates which I have received. So this is a foundation certificate. If you are totally new into the Oracle Cloud and don't know from where to start, guys, I'm telling you, foundation is the primary certificate which you should achieve or which you should start to learn about the Oracle Cloud. This certificate provides candidate with the foundational knowledge of a core cloud computing concepts and also it gives you understanding of those services in Oracle Cloud infrastructure which are available. This certificate is intended for candidates with technical and non-technical background. So if you are from sales and want to learn about the cloud, definitely you can go and start your cloud knowledge from the foundation certificate. So foundation is just like a beginner's certificate. It's a foundation stone to start your career into the cloud. After foundation certificate, I went for the operation certificate. So this is my certificate which I achieved after clearing the exam. Well, operation associate certificate validates deep understanding of managing Oracle cloud services and provides a competitive edge for industry professionals. So if, if you know about Oracle Cloud, you learn how to use a service. Now this certificate will going to help you how you can basically monitor, troubleshoot if any of the service is not working as it's supposed to. So it gives you a deep understanding of the service background of the service interior level so you can understand and troubleshoot your service. This certificate also help you to build your CLI knowledge in an Oracle Cloud. So guys, the next certificate which I cleared after Cloud Operation Exam is Cloud Infrastructure Associate Certificate. So this is my certificate as you can see. And this is a 2019 version. Oracle is soon going to launch 2020 version also. But 2019 is only the free version. This certificate is especially for those who are interested to design the architect, to deploy the infrastructure, to understand the networking, to understand the storage, how it works in the Oracle Cloud. So by this certificate, you get a knowledge about the complete architect of the Oracle Cloud. After this certificate, you get a great and deep knowledge about the infrastructure. You understand how to deploy the instance, how to use the storage, how to use the shared storage, how to use the object storage. And you also understand about the database. In database, you understand about the Excel data, autonomous data, autonomous data warehouse. So all these services are covered in this exam. This is a complete infra purpose relevant. So those who are interested in deploying the cloud, they should go to this exam. After clearing the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure exam, I started learning about the developer exam. In developer exam, I learned about the Terraform, Ansible, 
Kubernetes, about the containers. Oracle has a function service, which is a serverless function. So I learned function also for this exam. So this exam, developer exam, provides the candidate with the ability to design and architect cloud native application on Oracle cloud infrastructure. And this certificate is intended for developers. Those who are looking to validate their understanding of the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Service and develop application using cloud native service. So if you are an infra guy, if you learn networking, well, this exam requires you to a lot of, lot of new learning. And if you are a developer, I'm sure you understand about the serverless function, you understand about the application, you also understand about uh, the function, then this exam is most suitable for you who are interested to make their career in the DevOps uh, thing and want to do automation into the cloud. So after completing all four associate exam, now uh, my focus was to go to the professional and to specialist exam. For this two exam, I actually took complete month to prepare. So whole my main month was in preparing for those two exams, professional and specialist. And finally, I cleared my architect professional after a lot of, lot of learning. So as the name implies, professional exam requires a great and deep understanding of the Oracle Cloud. This is only for the professional. This is only to become the professional. So this exam requires a real base knowledge of the Oracle Cloud. You must have worked in the Oracle Cloud. This is just not like any social exam where you know about the different types of service Oracle provides, know about the function of the service, and you're able to correct the exam. This exam will going to have a lot of, lot of uh, scenario-based question. So if you don't have any practical knowledge, you will not able to clear this exam. So you need a good amount of practical knowledge. So this exam will definitely going to uh, test your deep knowledge. And the objective of this exam is that you understand how to plan and design the solution in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. You must know how to design, implement, and operate database in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. It is going to cover all database like Autonomous Data Warehouse, Autonomous Transition Process, ExaDB, or VMDB. So this will going to not going to uh, specific for particular database is going to cover all the database and then uh, it also going to test how you can migrate on-premises workload to the oracle cloud infrastructure so you must uh, having a good amount of knowledge about your migration and this also going to test implement and operate solution in oracle cloud infrastructure so you you must know how to troubleshoot the things you must know if uh, auto scaling required then how we can do it and you must know uh, which type of auto scaling is best uh, for that particular scenario. And this will also be able to test your hybrid cloud architecture knowledge and uh, also going to test security and compliances. So in professional, you will definitely going to uh, find caution uh, which requires a uh, good connectivity in between uh, Oracle Cloud and Azure because Oracle has a tie up with the Azure. So when they ask question about the multi-cloud they're definitely going to bring the azure into the picture so this is about the professional exam and after clearing the professional exam i start learning about the database uh, so oracle has one of the greatest and one of the most awesome service which is autonomous database which has i think uh, resolved all uh, database headache uh, this autonomous database uh, automatically control your database in a, in a very short way. If you are a DB guy, you will understand uh, what is the difference between the actual database and the autonomous database, or what is the difference between the legacy database or the uh, autonomous database. So here we you can uh, automatically scale your CPU, your memory, and you can uh, do automatic patching of the database. So there are a lot of things which autonomous database does. So this exam is highly focused on autonomous database. You don't need to worry about the XRDB. You don't need to worry about the bare metal VMDB. You just need to focus about the ADW or ADDP. So all 60 questions will going to come on ADW or ADDP. 
And if you have any doubt, guys, just uh, ping me on a comment. I will get back to you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.